Hey everyone, welcome to Ben's Experience. In this video, I will show you how to transfer a website from Bluehost to Hostinger. This is what we will see in this video. First, we will see how to download your website files. Then, how to do the same with the database. Third, we will set your domain name or uh, DNS to Hostinger. Next, we will create a fresh WordPress installation on Hostinger then upload your files and database. Now let's start with how to download your files. I'm now inside my Bluehost account. First, click on websites. Then click on settings under the website you want to transfer. Go to advanced and scroll down to cPanel. Click on manage. Under Files, click on File Manager. Enter this public HTML folder. And now these are all of your website files. First, select them using your mouse button and shift. And with the right button of your mouse, click on anywhere in this uh, section and hit Compress in order to compress all of these files into a single zip file. Click on compress files. As you see, my compressed file took the first name of the file in this list. Close this window and look for your compressed file. This is it. It weighs 215 megabytes. Click on it again and hit download. Now let's see how to download my database. Go back to cPanel and under databases, click on PHP my admin. Click on export. Then click on this export button again. Now my WordPress files are compressed in this zip file and this is my database it's called localhost.sql now let's set my domain name servers to hostinger go to domains now scroll down to the bottom of this page and click on advanced tools next to name servers click on manage and hit continue and these are the name servers of Hostinger replace them just like that same thing with the second name server and hit save usually this name servers update takes time uh, between an hour to six hours sometimes up to 48 hours or 72 but you can still keep uh, transferring your website to hostinger while name servers are taking changes now let's create a fresh wordpress installation on hostinger if you don't have a hostinger account yet you can use my affiliate link from the description below which is bainsexperience.com hostinger to get your Hostinger account. Using this link will definitely support me create more content like this. So thank you for your support. And for sure, this support adds no extra cost to what you will pay to Hostinger. And if you need any help related to Hostinger, Bluehost, or transferring your website, feel free to reach me out directly at my email address, ben at bensexperience.com, and I will help you for free. Now log in to your Hostinger account and go to websites. Now click on this Add Website button and select Empty PHP HTML Website because we already have our WordPress copy. Now fill in your website domain. In my case, it's benstestingwebsite.com. Here they are telling me that I need to connect it to Hostinger. I've already did that. This is the step of setting my domain name servers to Hostinger. Click on Next. 
I don't know why they are installing WordPress even I selected an empty website. But let's check my new website on Hostinger. As you see, this is a fresh copy of WordPress on Hostinger. If you face issues with accessing your website, just wait. This is all due to your name server latest changes. So just wait, sometimes it works. Just after five minutes, sometimes it takes multiple days. Now that my domain name is linked correctly with Hostinger and I have a fresh copy of WordPress, what I will do is to go to Files, click on File Manager, access files of my website. Now click on Public HTML folder. Now I can delete all of my uh, WordPress files on Hostinger and upload my uh, WordPress from Bluehost. But to avoid uh, database and files connection issues, I prefer to keep my working WordPress files and only replace what is inside in this folder called WP content in order to get my old plugins, themes and photos inside this upload folder. What I will do is to delete this folder and hit delete. Now decompress my website copy on my computer and go to website content and compress it in order to copy only my WP content folder. Now let's upload this WP content compressed file. Click on this icon, select file, locate your WP compressed file. This is it. Hit open and wait for the upload to complete. This is the remaining time in this corner. Now that my upload is completed successfully, let's first decompress my WP content compressed file. Click select extract. Keep as you, this is my current navigation. It will be uh, extracted in this folder, which is correct. Click on extract. Give this folder a name, for example, upload, hit extract. My file manager app refreshes automatically. Now go to upload. As you can see, this is my WP content folder and move it to, I want to move it inside this public HTML. For that, click on this, double click this first folder. And now I'm currently navigating on this public HTML folder. Click on move. Now that you've transferred your photos, uh, themes and uh, plugins, let's continue uploading our database. Go back to your Hostinger website dashboard and scroll down to databases, click on PHP my admin. And if you have multiple databases and you don't know which one is connected to your website, click on enter PHP my admin next to the database at the top because the last database always take the top position. Click on enter PHP my admin. And this is the content of your database currently connected with this uh, copy of WordPress. What I will do is to click check all, delete. In order to delete these tables, click on drop, then hit yes. After that, click on import, choose file. Locate your database on your computer and double click it. Click on import button. If you see an error exactly like this one, don't worry, your database upload was uploaded successfully. Now click on database from the top. 
as you can see this is the content of your database that was hosted on Bluehost as you can see the table prefix was uh, modified from our last database so I need to copy this part and go back to my file manager access files of my website go inside public HTML folder locate this file called wp-config.php click on edit and scroll down to table prefix delete the old table prefix and replace it with your new one make sure that everything is replaced correctly no space was added then save your changes now let's refresh our website now i have a blank page on my website this is good now let's access my wordpress dashboard now fill in your wordpress credentials you were using while your website was still on bluehost and hit login if you face any issues with your password you can click lost your password fill in your username or email address as you can see i got a reset password from my website let's set a new password click on save password click on login fill in your email address and your new password and now i'm inside my wordpress that is transferred from bluehost to hostinger and this is how to transfer a website from bluehost to hostinger